Well, hello there. I bid you a warm welcome to this video. This video is the Desk Revisited 4, provided to you by 5 Kilobyte Productions. This video is shot on the 7th of January of the year 2021. Think C Lab 2021, for example. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that coffee, am I right? Woo hoo hoo hoo, yeah. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show something I haven't shown for all of last year of the mask year 2020. And that is another mechanical pencil video. It's been a hot minute, you could say. You try to touch that minute and it singes your finger, am I right? Well, this is going to be the desk revisited for the pencils, pencils, pencils. We're going to be showing some more mechanical pencils that we have yet to show on any past videos. So brace yourselves. That's what I'm saying. Brace. Video is being shot with the Sony little bitty VCR. Let's take a quick look at that, shall we? Here you can see a Sony EVO 210 8mm Video 8 VCR that was originally acquired by the United States government in the year 2000 and was likely used for spy purposes because it came in a nice custom uh, padded case and inside the padded case with the VCR was a small spy camera and all that was acquired for only two dollars at a Salvation Army back in 2012. Next to the VCR we have a contact TV monitor. All you all can hang me from a noose because I'm not going to tell you the model number because A, I do not know what the model is and B, I don't feel like uh, trying to get it down from where I just set it up to try to read off the model number. So go ahead, start throwing rotten eggs and tomatoes my way. I welcome it. We also have a Shure M267 series mixer that's taking the audio and driving it into the VCR. Now, many of you will probably um, burn me at the stake because of the fact that I'm driving the balanced uh, uh, signal out of the VCR um, directly into the unbalanced input of the um, VCR. I mean the signal out of the sure mixer into the unbalanced VCR audio input. So not only is it probably giving an extremely strong signal to the VCR, but also we're picking up all sorts of noises such as the buzz from the lamp and possibly some video noise unless that's just something with the TV um, but these are all things that are uh, come par with this video and if you guys don't like it uh, go find a steak get some matches get some gasoline and do your business I'm here and for your interested parties, also we're using a Shure SM58 microphone. For the audio, we have another microphone, which is this little lapel mic, and that'll be used to pick up uh, pencil writing noises. Again, for all the background noise, and ironically using professional quality equipment, to make an anything but professional sounding video. I hope you enjoy this poorly done, crappy Cassette Master production. Crappy, just like it should always be. And for the record, since I feel like telling all the different equipment I'm using, I'm using Pioneer SE505 headphones as well. Yo boom, yo boom, yo boom, yo boom, yo boom, 
Yo, boom. Yo, boom. You know what I'm, you know, the thing is this. It's this simple. I'm in the mood to make a pencil video, and it's been a, a good while. And it, it, a lot of the videos I've done lately are done on a high definition camera and all that mumbo jumbo, but I tell you what, it's a lot funner making videos when you use VCRs, composite video, and all this stuff. It's just, it's more fun. And you know what, it's fun to goof around, act silly, and just, you know what I call it, goofing around. Some people think, you must have some kind of problem, you're goofing around. What's wrong with you? Well, it's simple. It's called free will and expressing the expression of being alive. I Not just a body, there's a soul in the body. You know, a lot of the evolution type people like to think it's just a bunch of neurons and that's it. Nothing but neurons, nothing but physical matter, there's more. It's not just the physical matter, there's a lot more. The soul is immortal and of course I believe in God and evolution is false. This Accord production too, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I found I can greatly uh, reduce the buzz. All I had to do is move the cord out of the way because the cord went right by the, uh, the base of the lamp over here um, and it was picking up electrical noise from the, uh, from the uh, lamp ballasts. So once I moved that, we got rid of the uh, lamp's buzz, which is phenomenal. You can see in the box here we have many mechanical pencils this is the primary uh, pencil collection container. This right here is known as the secondary pencil container and mainly contains cheaper pencils such as Bic and Pintech and also a few Papermate Sharp Rider examples. Have you ever thought about what goes bump in the night? Have you ever been spooked and scared by paranormal things? Well, here is a Halloween-themed mechanical pencil. Um, this was given to me by a co-worker. And um, it's a vintage, uh, a little bit on the cheaper side, mechanical pencil. A uh, pretty cool mechanical pencil. It's uh, I kind of, you know, maybe I should have shown this in October of last year, but anyway... Um, it's from the year 1989. Heck, it's older than me. And um, you can see it's got a, a special uh, ghost and pumpkin themed eraser. If we can get a little bit better view of this uh, ghost and uh, pumpkin here, we got a spooky ghost up here. And the uh, spooky, scary uh, ghost is holding a pumpkin here. Now, of course. I'm not going to dare use the eraser on this pencil. I want to keep it original. So if I want to erase, I want to use a external eraser so I do not uh, mar the ghost. Um, it's pretty neat. Happy Halloween. Um, it's got some bats and um, green dots. And then uh, right here, I don't even know if you can read it because this is composite video, none of this HD rubbish. It's a copyright 1989, noteworthy, uh, Pacoima, California. Not recommended for children under three years, Taiwan. So this particular pencil is made in Taiwan. This particular unit uses 0 0.5 millimeter lead. And uh, pretty uh, nifty uh mechanical pencil especially uh, if anyone is uh, wanting to use it on October the 31st of any given year here displayed is a very nice pencil this particular unit was given to me by the very same co-worker and is this is my first mechanical pencil to acquire in the year 2021 2021 I literally uh, got the. I came back to work on Monday of this week, and there was a Pierre Cardin case uh, sitting there where I, you know, put on my anti static uh, 
jacket and everything and anti-static bootstraps and and I was very pleased it was a gift for my coworker Rick and um, very happy to receive this pencil of course it came with a pin too but why show that plus I left the pen at work anyway but the pencil is what I'm interested in it's a very cool uh, design all metal and uh, I don't know if it's actual gold plating or if it's just to look like gold plating but it's a golden colored um, pencil and it has an interesting grip has these three sections on it I really the video monitor is it shows a bit darkened and the lighting is seems to all be on one side so you probably can't see this thing good at all maybe we can uh, adjust our lighting and improve it a little bit maybe that's better to see this uh, classic mechanical pencil but um, it's a really cool pencil um, I used to think it was like pine card and when I try to read the little cursive on there I couldn't quite make it out and I thought it said like pine or some weird thing like that but when I had the got the case it cl cl plainly in plain print said Pierre Cardin so I was like oh okay so Pierre so anyway it's a 0 0.9 millimeter twist type mechanical pencil it's a modern day one at least somewhat modern I don't know exactly when it was made but the it did mention it being Walmart and gave www.walmart.com so uh, looks like it's definitely at least new enough to exist it in the time of the World Wide Web um, of course it still gives a decent amount of time but probably this pencil is probably from the 2000s or the 2010s I would imagine I don't really want to try pulling the top off it's not wanting to give when I try to tug on it so I don't know if there's an eraser underneath but it's twist type 0 0.9 and a very cool uh, more modern example of the twist type mechanism pencil and uh, you don't see modern twist type uh, mechanism pencils very often unless you're getting a a sharp writer as these examples are here of course everybody's known of the paper mate sharp writer pencils um, these are a little bit older examples of the paper mate sharp writer we can compare these older paper mate sharp writers to a newer paper mate sharp writer of course this newer one I got in 2009 which you know you know time goes by fast am I right but um and in these older ones I'm not sure when they were made but they're older um, they're similar to one that my brother had in sixth grade which would have put back in 1999 um, you can see the different style for how it says paper mate. Now these ones were not from my brother in sixth grade. One of the original ones that my brother used in sixth grade, much to my chagrin, somehow the clip had managed to break off, which just was devastating. Um, it was in my collection and somehow, I guess moving stuff around or something, it managed, I guess it, I didn't even notice when it snapped off. I just noticed one day that the clip was gone. So I was like, oh so when I was at some kind of a indoor uh, it was like an estate sale yeah it was basically in this but it was like yeah it was an estate sale recently and I f just found a few paper of these paper made sharp writer pencils so I was glad to get the older style again after uh, you know because these ones have intact uh, clips but you can notice the difference in the style the black uh, writing and a sharp writer is set in a smaller font on the newer one and the brown writing on the older one with sharp writer in italics sharp writer pencil USA versus sharp writer number two USA and of course these these pencils were known to be supposedly non refillable but they actually are refillable just not in a conventional manner it takes a little bit of a taking it apart and kind of getting into the mechanism and everything. I made a video on how to refill these sharp riders back in 2012, which seems to be one of my more viewed videos out of my videos. I get comments on that one a lot more often than some of the others, and that one was, uh, funnily enough, was shot using the same VCR, the Sony EVO 210 VCR that I'm using to make this video right here. So those are uh, paper made sharp riders. So those are 0 0.7 using a twist mechanism and they're pretty cool um, 
And I like how the spring naturally gives shock absorption. That's pretty cool, too. This is a pencil that probably many of you will recognize. It's the Bic Velocity. Um, this is a 0 0.9 millimeter velocity. Um, it's one of the more cheaper pencils, but not as uh, terrible as your classical type of Bic pencil like this. This is your very common Bic pencil. Every one of you have seen this kind of pencil. I'm sure many of you have seen, you know, who go to college or school have seen pencils like this that have literally just been uh, left on the sidewalk or whatever. And um, a number of the big pencils like this I have were acquired in that very way. Uh, these are cheapo, and they have the problem of what I call bicking, is where you just push the lead and it goes in. Though this one is holding surprisingly strong. A lot of them don't hold on that strong. So this is a little bit better on the scale for Bic, but still one of the more economy type pencils you can acquire. It's the Bic Velocity um, 0 0.9 millimeter edition. My complaint, however, is the eraser. So when you first look at the eraser, you'll notice it's a jumbo size. It's a bit bigger. Oh, didn't mean to take the entire thing out. It's a bit bigger. And don't worry, the Velocity does come with a set of refill erasers. But the problem, however, I think it does, but the problem, however, is the texture of the eraser. It has a certain roughness to it that is very unbecoming to the finger when you rub your finger on it. It just, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like rubbing your nails on a chalkboard. It's kind of like that. It's more unpleasant texture. Like some of the other pencils, even your cheapo Bix have erasers that have a pleasant texture. When you rub your fingernail against it, it feels has a nice smoothness to it. But the the Velocity pencil, when I first saw them in the package, I thought certainly this eraser is going to have a wonderful uh, feel to it. But it feels a bit rough, and it really isn't as nice an eraser as one would expect. But other than that, it has a pretty cool grip. Um, pretty flexible gripping material. You can actually push it in quite a lot. Uh, you can get a good grip on this grip here. It's a 0 0.9 millimeter lead pencil. has a <clears throat> pocket protection where the uh, little tip will retract into the pencil. So that's good as well. One of the days I was at work, the co-worker, Rick, who gave me the Halloween pencil and the nice golden Pierre Cardin pencil, at one point had given me a pen. He knew that I liked pencils, and I always had my pocket protector with my writing implements in them when I went to work, and, well, one day he gave me a pen. It's a really cool pen. Um, this, it's an AEG, AIG I don't know what it stands for. I don't know if it's supposed to be the brand or if it's something custom put. But um, there's not much else on this aside from AIG. But it's a pretty nice. It was a pretty nice pen. Um, pretty solid feel, cool looking, and everything. Now you might be wondering how, what? No, why are you showing a pen? No, why are you showing a pen? It's supposed to be pencils, dang it! You're showing a pen, what's wrong with you? Whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Don't let your horses gallop out to war yet. This isn't a pen anymore. When I got this, I knew it was a cool riding utensil, but there was a problem, of course. It was a pen. I'm not a pen kind of guy, I'm sorry. You'll see a lot of people writing in their ink and everything, and they're using pens. Heck, my brother's a, that kind of guy. My brother uses pens all the time. But there's something about a pencil that a pen will never, ever give. There's something about a pencil. There's just something. I think a lot of you people know what I'm talking about. There's something about a pencil. It's, 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 it's a mixture of emotions. It's a mixture of feelings. 
it's not just oh well you can erase a pencil and you can't erase a pen it's th there's more another thing is an old pen will go dry but an old pencil you just put lead in the thing and you have a pencil that's older than your grandfather and it will still work <laughs> a pen that age your ink is going to be dried up so bad and then you got the feeling of the lead gliding against the paper and then there's nostalgic parts of using pencils um, you know I've always used pencils in school in elementary school and all throughout school and of course my dad my 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 late dad Steve Klein he he loved mechanical pencils so there's that aspect knowing my dad liked pencils kind of makes them extra special to me and and you know it's my best friend Evan you know he he appreciates them to some degree and it's just pencils are special to me so there's a nostalgic component as well so of course I converted this into a mechanical pencil and um, it's the I used one of the modules because there's a special um, multi pin that is uh, made by Pilot. It's the Pilot uh, Co High Tech C Colito, something like that. Yeah, Pilot High Tech C Colito. Um, you can get this on jet pins. You order a blank, um, or not blank, an empty cartridge. You can have it for either four or five writing utensils and then you can order separate uh, pen and pencil and even eraser uh, mechanisms that you can then put in uh, to make a custom writing utensil so this one here I got red ink, blue ink, black ink, 0 0.3 lead and 0 0.5 lead all in one package and um, but since you can order the separate mechanical pencil uh, modules I modified this pen and replaced the ink portion with a 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil but in the sense the pen originally you twist it to make the ink come out the tip come out you just twist it to advance the lead this one is a bit finicky though I had to kind of hold it in a vertical position there we go now it's twisted the lead out and uh, you had to twist it to click it and then it twists back automatically to unclick or not really it's really automatically you had to kind of twist it back yourself but it's pretty cool I took too long describing that's why my videos suck so much this pencil I've already shown in previous videos I'm not going to go in depth onto it but I just want to show a phenomenon that I encounter a lot of times with pencils in my collection um, it always happens with the shiny metal parts of pencils and I'm not sure what causes it. I don't know if it's something with humidity or the temperatures or the presence of any other vapors that might be within the pencil collection, maybe emanating off grips. I don't know. But it always happens. You may be able to sort of see it where the shininess is lost. And I always have to rub it with my finger to kind of rub that extra, I don't know, film or whatever off and then it restores the shininess of the uh, clip as you'll see um, it, it happens to multiple uh, pencils um, so every now and then I, I, I spot one that's got that and I have to take it out and rub the metal pieces because I'm afraid that if I let it uh, remain in that quote unquote tarnished state for too long it might damage the metal and I don't want to do that but I'm just wondering if any of you out there and has seen that before and knows what on earth causes it because I'm wondering if there's any way that can be uh, remedied where it does not develop on its own next on the list is a very special mechanical pencil this is a vintage from 1980 or so actually no never mind 1983 0 0.5 millimeter Pintel mechanical pencil it's model S55 and made in Japan this pencil was a gift from a co-worker that recently retired at my job this man named Gary had another pencil very similar to this 
unfortunately I don't remember what the model of it was but it was very similar to this one it was a Pentel pencil that he had been using since 1980 continuously for 40 years straight and had never lost it and part of a uh, near where the the tip was some of the plastic had gotten broken in the past and he had epoxied it together and the metal part because it was very similar to this one the metal part had completely like it was just like any regular coating was completely worn off and it just it, he had used it so so much I mean he had been using the pencil on a regular almost daily basis for 40 years and never once lost it now if that's not being faithful to a mechanical pencil I don't know what is well anyway he gave me this pencil that he he said it had some kind of problem um, but it was a very minor problem and isn't an issue for me it's something with the um, I think the lead was something I guess it jammed easily or something like that but um so he had this sitting in his drawer at his workbench and he had it sit it was in an anti-static bag too and um he gave me this very special pencil that he had since 1983 which he didn't use nearly as often and um it's when he gave this pencil to me i was just so happy um i, it, I felt very happy to receive this very special pencil and um Unfortunately, he doesn't have a green eraser. It it may have been replaced at some point, probably, because, of course, he always used the erasers as well. You can see this one is almost, is has been used considerably, and he's, you know, obviously pushed it out and everything. I mean, so he was very faithful to these pencils, that's for sure. He, for using the same pencil for 40 years straight and still using it probably to this day, just blows my mind but anyway this pencil you may not be able to see it clearly so we're gonna have to zoom in because this one's very very interesting to see excuse me um, I'm gonna pause the VCR probably can't even see it and you're gonna give me a dislike because of the video quality this is a 1983 CR award um, cost reduction award that is um, what that has to do is um, with the uh, production of goods on an assembly line some people when it comes to uh, the management and everything with uh, certain production costs are so um, micromanaging to the agree degree that they want to time every single movement literally how long it takes to move your arm from your body to an area to pick up a particular tool how does long does that last all right okay how long does it take to pick up the screw and put it into the assembly how long does like every tiny little step that you would never think of timing um gary mr gary used to work in the teletype industry back in the day and um and uh, he was in charge of uh, timing all of this stuff and finding ways to make it more efficient um, with the placement of tools and everything the placement of parts and to make it more efficient um, to maximize production efficiency for the teletype machines so when he for the cost reduction award he received this mechanical pencil so this is an extremely pencil I mean extremely special pencil for him to give me and it's, it's, just, it's just a neat uh, thing uh, especially knowing the history behind um, the, his working in teletype I, I, I don't know what the company was called so sorry about that but he would he told me stories about when he worked in teletype and it, it was really cool hearing him uh, go on about things I, I really miss Gary and hoping that he's doing well but anyway I was very happy to receive this mechanical pencil from Gary it, it just warmed my heart when he gave it to me next pencil on the list is a um, cross uh, pencil I, I in the past and uh, I think in it was featured in my mechanical pencils five or it might have been featured in at my desk I think five 
uh, shot in Massachusetts when I lived in Massachusetts. Um, I don't live there anymore, but for almost two years I lived there. And when I was in Massachusetts, I got a blue version of this cross pencil that's shown in one of those videos. Well, this is a maroon version of this cross pencil. Um, a little bit on the newer side. Don't know the year, though. I mean, it may not be that new, but it's it's not your 0 0.9 twist type. It's a 0 0.5. You do twist it, but it advances a clicking mechanism for the lead and um, has a retracting uh, tip. So, anyway, and I pull the top off, and you exposes a green eraser. I've always liked green erasers, especially the old Pentel's with green erasers always are special. I acquired this pencil at a flea market. Um, you may have seen a video I shot in the past of the FF33 uh, vintage uh, Nazi era German field telephone. Well, the, th the same flea market I got that telephone at with, uh, when I was with Jordan Tuck in July, I also got this pencil at the same market. And again, if the audio sounds uh, overdriven, I apologize. It's just the nature of this particular video. It's just part of it. Into something a bit fancy schmancy. A $20 pencil by Tombow. This is a very nice mechanical pencil. Though I <laughs> don't want to use it too often because I'm too afraid of scratching the fancy shiny metal case. You know, I guess when you pay a lot for a pencil, you also, and it's a fancy one like this, you do everything you can not to uh, cosmetically damage it, because otherwise you'll be beating yourself up. But, um, I got this one from Jet Pins. I think you're supposed to be able to put this top on, but I've read comments where people have bought them where it's got slightly scratched on the metal case. So I don't even do that. I'm too afraid of scratching it. So I just put the top off to the side. It's a pretty cool mechanical pencil. It's got a rubber grip area here and a nice tip. The clicker is rather interesting because it's just this little stub here. But normally that would be pushed on by this, I believe, if you put the, if you put the top on. And you can click out the 0 0.5 millimeter lead. And um, pretty cool looking tip there. Of course, the metal tip there. Um, pretty nice uh, mechanical pencil. A bit more on the fancy side. Made by Tombow. All the markings, of course, are on the, the this clip portion here. So, pretty nifty uh, Tombow modern day uh, mechanical uh, writing utensil. Put that. There we go. Got that uh, back on the pencil. Uh, pretty cool writing utensil. Into the realm of the little bit more pricey uh, pencils, this is another very nice pencil that I acquired last year. It's the Pilot S20. Um, I had seen this on jet pens a number of times in the past and considered getting one, but kind of decided not to at times in the past but then I finally decided you know what I'm getting one it's a very nice mechanical pencil on the high high end for the pilot pencils um, 0 0.5 and it's it's wooden of course you have like metal well actually this part is that metal and uh, that parts plastic here the tip is metal thankfully and the clip is metal and um but the body, of course, is wood. Of course, you might have, like, metal or plastic underneath, but it's actual wood on the outside. Very nice, like, cherry red or whatever color. Very nice, uh, kind of a reddish, reddish brown. Um, it's a very neat-looking uh, mechanical pencil. Um, very high quality of... Uh, quite a pleasure to use this pencil of course I keep it in its extra in its separate uh, uh, container to protect it from getting scratched or anything like that lest I if I because if I scratch it or or mess it up I'm well let's just say uh, I'll be uh, taking myself outside and doing the needful
pretty pen pretty cool pencil to say the least another cool pencil speaking of the more C grinder hitting the volume control of my headphones violently against the microphone yeah I exaggerated it wasn't violent but still another nice pencil now of course probably many of you probably thought I should have got one of these a long time ago I finally gotten uh, one of the most uh, very well-known um, mechanical pencils a lot of people really enjoy which is the Pentel Carry which is um, I think this one was about sixteen dollars or so if I remember correctly uh, Pentel Carry um, mechanical pencil that looks similar to like a fine pen you know except it's a not a pen it's a pencil because why on the flat earth would I ever want to stoop so low as to get a pen no matter how fancy it is the only exception I do in going out of my way to get a pen is if it's a pen pencil combination so or maybe one I would uh, um, be able to convert but anyway the Pentel carry this is a kind of a mixture of things here the mm, the clip the top portion here is made of metal and uh, pretty cool looking the actual model of this is the Pentel P1035 of course made in Japan because all the best pencils are made in Japan and of course also the the downside of the Pentel carry is it's interesting though by how short it is the downside of the Pentel carry though is although the top parts made of metal and this middle um, grip area here or a nice looking area here is made of metal the these parts are plastic now thankfully the tip section is metal uh, the reason why for a long time I didn't get the Pentel carry was because when I look at the pictures online the look the coloring and everything of the clip area here made me think that it was plastic made to look like metal because it kinda has that look to it but it actually is metal because uh, a, a friend of mine in Oklahoma he had acquired a carry so I finally got to handle one for myself and I saw ah the tip area is actually made of metal so that made me want to carry a lot more because I had always thought that was plastic just because of the way the pictures looked but of course these sections are plastic um, but it's a pretty nice mechanical pencil um, interesting if you just use this part by itself of course you can put the clip on this side and it looks kinda like just one of those pins it's kinda together and the funny thing is is you can click the lead out <laughs> wow it's inside <laughs> but um so yeah but I usually just keep it out oh damn I try to do this as carefully as I can but it's always I get very conscious about the idea of possibly scratching it but um there a nice stout click and then you got a clicker on the top of the clip here so you can click it out like this so let's get a close-up here of the carry writing looks like the worst thing in the world I'm sorry the lighting looks so bad I keep thinking that there's plenty of light but you just that's the number one of the number one thing okay so anyway you can see the the writing there it's pretty cool uh, mechanical pencil um, very nice yeah probably the number one some of the worst things this is what happens every time I make a video is I start to get very critical of myself and complain about how crappy the video is and I'm wasting up air by talking about it probably the things I really need to work on is my camera handling and my lighting but probably also is my chin wagging if I can get those three things under control perhaps my videos will be a bit better all right coming in an unlabeled pen and pencil set box
The pen is sitting inside my drawer, and why bother showing it? It ain't a pencil. This is a very nice, very nice, kind of funny that there's no name brand you could see on it. And none of this eraser rubbish either. I got this at an estate sale. Um, so you saw a video earlier of the Apollek RA11 is not equal. You may have saw the video. There is a video that exists on my channel called Apollek RA11 is not equal to Apollek RA11. And it's a couple of rim drive reel to reel tape recorders. Well, the one called Apollo Industries, I got that at an estate sale earlier this year. Of course, it was an annoying 2020 version of an estate sale where everyone's lined up and wearing masks and and then they have these cards and everyone trickles in slowly and waits in line forever because they can only have a fixed number of people inside the house because of social distancing and I'm waiting there all anxious and stuff wanting to get in as soon as I can before anyone possibly gets any uh, possible recorders that might be there before I have a chance to look at them so I'm all anxious yeah that's 2020 estate sales for you but anyway at the same estate sale I got that RA11 at I also got this very nice mechanical pencil um yeah yeah there's a paper where someone wrote the brand name of the pencil on it i think but i don't know where that paper is i'm sorry so we have already had me get hung we've already got me burned at the stake and we've already got a rotten eggs and tomatoes thrown at me let me think of another thing how about sent out to the gulags this time we sent out to the gulags because I'm not going to try to find that paper to show you what uh, what brand of the, this pencil is. And who knows how they even knew the brand because there's, no, there's nothing on the box that says so. But anyway, it's a really cool pencil, although it is made in Taiwan. I think I, think I saw that somewhere. I don't even know. Am I just tricking myself? But maybe I am. But it's a really cool mechanical pencil. It has a very solid feel. Yeah, the top clip clicking portion is a bit wobbly, but the rest of this pencil is really cool. Now, it does not have a retractable clip. The thing is, is the clip looks like it would be the retractable type, but it's actually fixed. It's 0 0.7 millimeter. Um, None of the 0 0.5 rubbish, none of the 0 0.9 rubbish. It's 0 0.7, and it's just really cool. The plastic portions here have a nice, solid feel and a nice, glossy shininess to them. And then you have the metal uh, tip portion, a golden colored, and this very, very hefty, solid, ain't going anywhere metal clip. And then you have a wood here, and it's just a really... It's a really cool pencil. I was very pleased to find this at that estate sale. And hey, it didn't cost very much mu much money either. So, <laughs> a good deal. And uh, very, very uh, happy and satisfied with it. Although it does click out the lead a bit more with each click, I guess. I don't know. We'll do some writing tests soon. So, uh, brace yourself for the writing tests. They will come up. Kicks and giggles. The the other uh, 0.9 millimeter velocity. They came in a two pack. So yeah, you can see uh, orange colored one here. Yeah, boom. USA, USA, USA. It's just kind of a whim, buy on a whim thing. Saw them at the store one day and thought, hey, I'll try them out. Whatever. These are USA themed Pentel pencils. Kind of similar to a more modern version of the icy. With a different kind of grip, I think, but um, same type of tip style as the IC. Uh, and these are what 0 0.7 millimeter. I don't really use these much. I kind of, you know, whim buys, but they're not really all that great. But they have a metal clip, and uh, USA themed. But of course, ironically, of course, they're not made in the U.S. They're made in China. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> making stuff in America, am I right? Next on the list, you may recognize the Papermate 
twist erase paper mate you may recognize the Bic great erase mechanical pencil that I've shown in previous videos well did you know that there was a variant check this pencil out as far as brand name is concerned it's not marked but one would surmise that it's a Bic a Bic great erase except this one is Winnie the Pooh themed it's a very neat pencil to come across I found it on the floor and was very pleased to find this pencil I was at a conference when I found it on the floor this was mind you in 2019 December 2019 it was the last of any conference like that I'd ever be at because well corona lockdowns distancing zoom masks anyway it's a very neat mechanical pencil what I really like is it has a blue eraser I really enjoy the blue eraser and it has a wonderful texture the eraser it just has a very high quality feel I love the texture of this kind of eraser it's oh my gosh it feels good it feels good and um very neat mechanical pencil 0 0.7 millimeter lead just like the other twisty races so it's just neat to find that variant of the twisty race definitely was not expecting that here is a little bit more vintage pencil there are slightly newer versions under the paper mate brand that are everywhere at work but this is the Sanford ZZ the ones at work are black this one's blue the Sanford ZZ 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil complete with completely dried up and yellowed with age eraser what's neat about it is the erasers on these ones actually have those little retainers that you commonly see on Pentel pencils huh isn't that something huh anyway this is a classic mechanical pencil with uh, a tip that comes out or retractable tip and is a very nice mechanical pencil I really enjoy this uh, ZZ pencil um, I like the name Sanford much more than the name Papermate and I wish that they still called their stuff Sanford Sanford just is a much more uh, strong sounding stout name you know I have a Sanford you know instead of oh I have a Papermate with love hearts on it no I have a Sanford thank you very much a Sanford pencil yes a Sanford please thank you I really like the grip design on some of these uh, Sanfords you'll also see it on this paper mate pencil here that was shown in the previous videos has that same style of um, grip with the Sanford uh, lo that little Sanford logo there that you see patterned into it it just it looks really cool I've always enjoyed uh, older Sanford uh, writing utensils, especially when they boast the name Sanford versus Papermate. Next on the list is the Pentel Smash. 0 0.5 millimeter, not well lit at all, darkly lit, horribly lit mechanical pencil. It's a Pentel Q1005. It has an interesting scheme for the clicker mechanism with this kind of spring looking rubber thing on it. That was my making click noises. Here's the actual click noises. And um, this one is uh, different in its, in its ways of construction. That is, the upper barrel here is made out of plastic, the clip is metal, and the grip portion is the same as the tip portions all one unit and is made of metal matte black painted metal which I hope doesn't chip because if it does well the tears will have to fall from mine eyes it also has a lead hardness indicator as well pretty nifty mechanical pencil 
Next on the list is yet another Pintel green colored mechanical pencil. It's a P205. Everybody's seen P205s, but this one is green. They have plenty of these pencils at work, which is fantastic. Uh, several different co-workers all have green P205s. There's a whole stash of green P205s for everybody to get their hands on. And I'm also realizing that the tint setting on my contact TV is off and the green looks black on the TV screen. And when I look at my camcorder's viewfinder, it shows the correct green coloring. So I'll need to do something about that but I'm not going to adjust the tin controls just yet. But speaking of green pencils, next on the list is Venus. Planet Venus in the solar system. This is the Venus 041 vintage 2 millimeter lead holder. At the various state sale that I got this pencil, and the Apollo, Apollo Industries RA11 rim draw reel to reel tape recorder, I also acquired this Venus lead holder, which is a really cool dark green color. Let's compare the green of the green Pentel P205 to the green of the Venus, and it's just a, it's a neat dark green color. I really like you know, the Venus. I don't have very many green pencils, so it's cool to come across green colored pencils. I really like this old Venus. Look on the other side and it has a full scale showing all the different lead hardnesses from 6B all the way to 9H. <laughs> that, that's amazing, man. This is a very cool lead finder, I mean lead, uh, lead holder. Really enjoy this Venus. There. Really enjoy this old uh, Venus lead holder. Um, very cool find. Was very pleased when I found this Venus. Uh, I think I was having to rummage through some drawer in the garage full of junk and I managed to find this Venus sitting in there I'm like oh yeah all right that's what I'm talking about <laughs> ASMR <laughs> dead battery what that's not good. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> we got a charger plugged into this mother. And now we'll be able to continue on with the video showing uh, writing tests. Ha! By the way, here's the FF33 telephone. Am I right? Woo hoo, huh? Yeah. Let's get on to showing some writing tests with these mechanical pencils. Am I right? Probably old clipped. Heck, yeah, and everything. You got a limiter, but it don't act like it. Huh. Fillable. All right, the first pencil we're going to show is the Happy Halloween themed mechanical pencil. Oh shoot! It isn't the seventh, and I even said that in the video earlier. It's January the 8th, 2021. Sometimes I can be so dense, man. It's it's sad. It doesn't help when my hand covers up the writing.
a happy Halloween mechanical pencil with 0 0.5 millimeter lead loaded into it. Got to get the lead out, am I right? Woohoo, huh? Yeah, that's right. Feeling your bones. I have little statements I like to say over and over again because it's fun. I really enjoy it very much. Such as feeling your bones. Woohoo, huh? Because it's uh, my personality, my free will. All that mumbo jumbo jumbo. Next on the list, we have the uh, Pierre Cotton 0 0.9 millimeter mechanical bezel. Let's give it a writing test, shall we, huh? Now the lead that comes with it is not of the nicest feeling and texture. It does perform the function of writing successfully, however, it has a bit of a roughness to it that I don't like very much. What I'm going to do is load Pintel 0.9mm lead into it in this place, and it should turn into what I call a pleasure pencil. We get the 0.9mm lead out. We gotta get the lead out, that's the thing, we gotta get the lead out. Here we go. Get the lead out. Get the lead out. Yeah. Get the lead out. <laughs> that should go into place. Back it in some. Push on it more so it's locked into place. Hopefully that didn't break. Make sure it actually retracts. Okay, looks like the lead is loaded. Oh. He's got lead loaded. Be careful lest he gets the lead out into you, skull. Now, we have the Pentel HB 0.9mm lead loaded into this particular writing implement. Now let's go give it a writing test, shall we? It also writes a little bit darker than the original lead does. <laughs> I love to burp, am I right? Yeah, so that was that pencil right there. But yeah, cut in. And we did a small blip on the sharp writer again. I'll write with the sharp writer. Again, you can't see me running. My hands, they're in the way. Ah, it looks terrible. Ah, dislike. Right, now we got the big velocity mechanical pencil. Next on the list is the AEG, AIG, excuse me. Pin converted into a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil using a Pilot Colito 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil lead module from Japan's. The actual original pin was given to me by my coworker Rick. Right. That's right.
now the Pentel S55 from Gary. Very special pencil. 1983 CR Award. Can you even read that or is it too blurry through the composite video? <laughs> oh, geez, am I right? <laughs> okay, uh, continuing on, we have the uh, cross pencil, 0 0.5 millimeter lead. Absorption. I think it's absorption. Let me correct that really quick. And actually, it is absorption. <laughs> Grief. Whatever. Um, you get the point. Yeah, it's got shock absorption, and that makes me want to write hard. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. Next on the list. Tombo. Mechanical puzzle. Fancy schmancy. Yeah. Take that in. Take that in for a second. Just take just take it in. This is an interesting experience. I'm looking at the contact TV while I write. I know. <laughs> Got a carry. Got the S20. The S20. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay, all right, put that in there, ASMR, okay, 
Um, next, we're going to show the carry. Ha! Huh, am I right? Mechanical pencil. Yeah, I'm all right. I called it that because when I first heard of mechanical pencils in the year 1998, when I went on a trip to Peru, um, I guess I misheard or whatever, and I said comedical pencil. Similarly, when I first heard the word elevator, I called it an altibator. So, yeah. And library was lightberry, and so forth. Yeah, I said a lot of words wrong back in the day. Am I right? I like saying am I right? It's one of those things. Uh, next, we're going to show this pencil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does click the lead out more than I wish for two clicks. Oh, well. <laughs> Wonderful sound. Oh. Some people probably hate this shaking sound when writing, but for some reason, I love it. Oh. I also like squeaky lead. Most people hate squeaky lead, but I love squeaky lead. This one doesn't have squeaky lead loaded in it, but man. I love it! <laughs> wow! Okay. Next we'll show one of the American samples which is actually made in China. I think some of those lower sounds were picked up perhaps through the Miss Mic? No, it was all the lapel. See, I have got a microphone that is attached to the notebook to pick up pencil sounds with extremeness. And then I have the Shure SM58 up to my mouth. But my voice is also picked up on the lapel because I made it purposely very sensitive for extremeness and effect. Here is. Again, I'm doing all this extreme sound on purpose. It's part of the flavor of this video that I'm going for. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Do 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 do. Okay. Next on the list, we will show the Sanford ZZ. I jotted pencil down 
in a bad way as I frantically looked at the counter on the VCR thinking that it was staying on one count not realizing it was actually counting thinking for a split second that I might have, might have gotten to the end of the cassette next is the Venus zero forty one nine your Venus I'm not going to sharpen it right now yeah scream at me all you want The green P205. And finally, last but not least, the Pintel Smash 0 0.5 Q1005 0 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Viewers of this video, I hope you enjoyed this pencil presentation. Pencils, pencils, pencils. The desk revisited for. I know it's not an at my desk because those are only shot when I have a low voice from a cold. So this one's just a desk revisited showing several different pencils that many are have not been featured on previous videos shot on the Cassette Master channel. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of these mechanical pencils. Please send complaints to 5 kilobyte productions at hotmail.com. Just kidding. That email address does not exist. I don't make it tonight. I don't make it ever. That's all I gotta say. Singing like a nest now in space. You always wonder when you'll get to the planet Saturn, Jupiter, Mars.